Hey guys, soap cutters are great until you have to replace the wire. This is Jamie at Soap Authority and my soap cutter has two broken wires to replace. So in this video, I'll show you the tools and parts that I use, how I replace my wires, and I'll let you in on a little secret that'll save you a lot of money when buying replacement wires. Ready? Let's get to the repair. The first thing I did was I got out my tools and what I have here is I have an awl, pliers, and wire cutters, and you're also going to need uh, one or more replacement wires. Now the replacement wires used on most soap cutters are simply .022 gauge steel guitar strings. And here's a close up of what the ends of those look like and you may or may not need those ends depending on your soap cutter design so if you don't need them you can simply cut them off. The first step when replacing your soap cutter wires is to remove the old wire. On my soap cutter, I have these bolts here that the wires attach to, so I'm just going to use my pliers to wiggle the ends free on the side that's attached to the bolt. Then I remove the remaining wire from the guitar string tuning pegs. Those pegs are the parts that twist and that's going to tighten and loosen the wires on the soap cutter. Next, I need to cut off the end of the wire with the little gold washer since my soap cutter is not designed to use that. After I've cut the end off, I use my awl to make a small loop large enough to fit over the bolt. I form a loop, then wrap the excess around the wire to make it secure. The wire is tough and a little springy, and it wanted to keep bouncing around, so don't be surprised if this part takes a few tries. As you can see, I finally had to switch to another pair of pliers to get enough grip to twist the wire. If you want to, you can use a second pair of pliers to try and get the tip of the wire down a little bit flatter. Now that I'm happy with my loop, I can push it over the screw. But before I do that, I need to thread it through these holes. Next, I wrap it around the two screws in the back. On this particular soap cutter, one wire is used to make two cuts. That's why I have to wrap it and come back through to the front of my cutter.
Now that I've got my wire in place, I just need to attach it to the guitar string tuning peg. I am turning it until the hole is in line with the wire. You can trim your wire down before or after you wrap it tightly around the peg, but either way you have to make sure to leave a couple inches of slack for winding. Basically, once you cut your wire, you need to have enough wire left to wrap around the peg a handful of times or your wire will not stay tight. I'm bending the wire here to help hold it in place as I turn the peg to wind on the wire. To help the wire wind up nice and tight, I'm pulling the wires tight on the back of the soap cutter for tension. Hanging onto the wires is kind of hurting my fingers, so I am going to use the soft handles of my wire cutters instead. After doing this, I think cutting the new wire after it gets wound around the peg is easier than cutting it. Just remember to tighten to the right if you can. Remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. As you can see, I did one of mine backwards. It'll still work, but all the others will tighten to the right. So I'll just have to remember that when I'm using my soap cutter. I'm almost finished. I'm just checking the back to make sure the wire is at the bottom of the screws, but not over the nut on either side. Now I'm just going to bend this piece of wire out of the way. I'll repeat this process for the next wire and then I'll be finished. Now, if you want to save yourself some money buying replacement wires, you need to know what to look for. If you go to Etsy and do a search for soap cutter replacement wires, you're going to pay a lot more because they're perceived as a specialty item. And I'm telling you, they're not. I purchased my 12 pack from eBay for $9.23. If I would have got them from Etsy, it would have cost me $29.19. That's over three times what I paid when I bought them on eBay. So if you look around, you can probably find a really good price on these wires if you know what you're looking for. Now the type of wire you need is a 0 0.022 gauge steel guitar string. Write that down on a sticky note and stick it to the bottom of your soap cutter. Again, that's a 0 0.022 gauge steel guitar string. I really hope you found this video helpful, even if you don't have the exact same soap cutter as I do. Let me know if you have any questions below, and you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.